for about the last 25 years since I've been a physiatrist, I've been explaining myself. We are a small specialty. We've been around since the 1930s with the polio epidemic and, and veterans of World War I. We are um, about 80 training programs across the country. I think the confusion between physical therapy and physical medicine and rehab is longstanding, and physical therapists now get a doctorate in physical therapy but physical medicine and rehab providers or physiatrists have doctorates in medicine or osteopathy. I think physiatrists are excellent diagnosticians because we listen to the patient and we take your perspective. I'm here because I can't play piano for 20 minutes like I want to, or I want to play with my grandkids, or I've been stuck at home with COVID and I, I sit at my computer, I'm having trouble with arm pain or back pain. A physiatrist is a specialty. It's a four-year training program after medical school. We're also called Doctors of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. The training includes inpatient classical rehabilitation, things like patients after a stroke or a spinal cord injury and what their particular needs are, as well as outpatient expertise in non-operative musculoskeletal care and neurological problems. My particular area is outpatient. I do non-operative care for pain problems. I tend to work in the middle of the body with the abdominal and pelvic area. Uh, where you might have problems with pain, difficulty going to the bathroom, and, and other sorts of things. The physiatrist focuses on function. We are not specific to one sort of organ or one part of the body or one type of tissue. So seeing a physiatrist allows you to get a really integrative and broad view of your problem. So we're a great person to see for simple problems. I sprained my ankle or really complex problems. I've had back pain for 20 years. I've had this many surgeries. I've tried all these types of procedures. And we do uh, expert hands-on physical exam that really takes that anatomic uh, rendering and then makes it important for how a person presents. If you're having trouble, you've already seen other people, you had the surgery, it really didn't fix your problem, or no one's really understanding what's going on or you don't feel like people are listening to you. Patients will say things like, I've always thought those two things were connected, but I couldn't get my doctor to really go there with me. So to really honor what the patient knows and then to ask clarifying questions. Those kind of questions really help the physiatrist understand what tissue's at risk, how is it accommodated, and how can we help you move forward with the goals that you have in mind. For the visit, it's really important what historical data you bring with you as well as the story that you bring with you. So um, a lot of people that we see will be maybe the second or third provider, so you already will have some tests done, you'll have some x-rays, some imaging. So we will have you walk, we'll have you bend, we'll have you go from sit to stand, we'll check your sensation, we'll check your muscle strength, we'll use a little hammer to check your reflexes. Then we'll do some special maneuvers at the joint itself. We will unload the joint, we will load the joint, and all these maneuvers are to help us understand is there a tissue that's not working well? At the end of the exam, I'll tell you about what things I think we need to worry about. I will tell you whether your old imaging sort of supports or does not support what I was thinking, how your exam supports or doesn't support, how I might need an x-ray or an MRI or a test like an EMG, which is a special test of your nerve function. And then you'll leave the office usually with some recommendations for imaging, lab work, um, probably physical therapy. As physical medicine and rehab physicians, we love to work with others. Um, it's part of our personality trait, which makes it nice as a patient because we love to work with you. <laughs> but we also know that we need sometimes physical therapy, occupational therapy. I need to have really good spine surgeons because I see a lot of back and neck pain, and they need to have me because they see a lot of back and neck pain that doesn't need an operation. I work with urologists, gastroenterologists, gynecologists, urogynecologists for problems around the center of the body, um, abdominal pain. A physical medicine and rehab spine physician may spend half of her day in the surgery center under fluoroscopy, giving spinal injections to relieve nerve root pain. We call that a radiculopathy or a pinch nerve, or putting cortisone in the little facet joints of the lumbar or the cervical, the low back or the neck. A lot of Folks in the department, including myself, do joint injections. We also do a lot of what are called trigger point injections to muscles that have these tight bands and these trigger point areas. No matter which way it goes, you need something done urgently or, goodness, this is just degenerative changes, we'll give you an assessment, we'll give you a plan, and you'll feel better and, and move better. It's very humbling to hear the great things and the not so great things that happen to people and to be entrusted to take that information 
to bring my knowledge and then to come forth with a plan.